Hello, welcome to another episode of Ask Anna. Um, it's Friday, so I'm doing an Ask Anna, and I thought this week I would take a lot of questions instead of just doing one topic. Sorry, my dogs are going crazy in the background. Anyways, instead of doing one topic, I thought I would just t take a couple of different questions from my form spring. So if you want to ask me questions on there, you can do so anonymously. Um, the link will be in the description box. It's just formspring.me for stroke anasagoni. Question one comes from Katie50439. She said, what did you do to get more viewers and how long did it take before you had a decent amount of subscribers? I really did nothing. <laughs> I did not try to promote my channel. I did not post my link anywhere. I didn't hound other bigger people that I knew or bigger YouTube gurus with um, my channel name and I kind of think that's like really spammy and annoying anyway So I'm actually really glad that I didn't do that I did used to thank people like when I was really tiny and I didn't have um, a lot of subscribers I would Individually go to every single subscriber and go to their wall and um, thank them for subscribing So maybe that got my channel out there. I'm not really sure but um, other than that I really didn't do anything at all. I think that People will just subscribe to you if they like you and if they like what they see. Um, so be yourself in your videos and I mean, if you don't act fake and if you just act like yourself, you're gonna get people that like you and you're gonna get people that will come back and wanna watch you. So that's really all I did. I'm sorry I don't have like a better kind of like marketing strategy or anything, but I, I really didn't think of it like that and it was just a fun hobby. How long did it take before I had a decent amount? I would say, um, okay, I started in February, uh, yeah, I bet February of 2009, and I remember my first kind of milestone, like my real milestone, was in October of that year when I got 10,000 subscribers, and I thought I was like on fire. <laughs> I thought it was so amazing. Um, so yeah, that's probably the time when I realized that like things had kind of blown up. Question number two. Um, comes from Lottie Rainbow. Did you have a part-time job when you were at uni? If so, what was it? I was actually fortunate enough not to have to get a part-time job. The first time around I lived at home and then the second time when I went to fashion school I was obviously living away from home. I was in a different country um, and I was just fortunate enough that my family supported me and um, I did not have to take a part-time job. Having said that, I did work like during the summers and my first job was in a baby boutique. My second was at a makeup counter, uh, working for Estee Lauder. And uh, then I worked for Ralph Lauren one summer as an intern. I Question number three comes from Makeup Boutique. I was going through your older videos and saw that you were blonde and then you went back to the color you are now. I was wondering what color you prefer. Personally, would you go back blonde? I was like, this is really funny. I'm like, which color do you prefer? Obviously, I prefer the one that my hair is now, otherwise I would change it. I like the way my hair is now. This is my natural color for the most part, and then you can see it's kind of like ombre, um, not even really intentionally. It's just like that's the way the dye kind of came out, but I like it. I like it like this. Would I go back blonde? No, because sometimes I look at videos where I was like super light blonde and I think like I don't really like it. I think it just looks really fake or something and I just prefer me with darker hair. Um, having said that, my hair isn't super dark either, but I have I have thought about getting highlights maybe or highlights and lowlights, but not super light blonde like what I was before. Question number four comes from Sadie Lee Meow. How are you going to decorate the room if it's a girl? And how are you going to decorate the room if it's a boy? Well, we just found out we're having boy, uh, what? <laughs> we just found out we're having a girl. So, um, yeah. Either way, we were always gonna do a really neutral theme because we're just kind of more into that than like the totally pink or totally blue. So we always had this kind of like color scheme in mind. Um, there's just lots of creams and browns and kind of like oatmeal colors, natural colors. Uh, so that's probably what we're gonna do. In fact, it is what we're gonna do. I mean, we have the crib picked out and everything. We have the bedding picked out. So it was never gonna be like very gender specific either way. Question number five comes from Anch3i. She said, just watched your old video about the Saint-Tropez mousse. Do you still use it sometimes? And can you recommend it? Um, I kind of have a love-hate relationship with fake tan. I think it looks 
bad on me not bad but like I think it's just a lot of maintenance a lot of work um, I just I prefer a natural tan is what I'm trying to say and I am quite lucky and blessed in the fact that I'm because I'm half Italian and even on my mom's side she tans really easily too um, whenever I spend even like five minutes in the sun I just get really really super brown um, having said that I live in Ireland so obviously in the winter time and this springtime and the autumn time <laughs> anything other than summertime I am super pale um, and I do prefer myself with a tan because I'm naturally darker skinned I feel like because you know it takes like five minutes and I just if you, I look at pictures from when I was little and when I lived in different countries I was always super like dark um, so yeah I prefer myself with a tan but I always have preferred the natural tan I just don't think anything else compares do I recommend Saint Tropez mousse yes if you want to go for a fake tan um, I would say try and embrace your natural color first of all because that's kind of like it's hard I know because you everybody looks better with well most people look better with a bit of color to them but um, yeah Saint Tropez mousse is probably the best fake tan out there question number six comes from Orla O'Flynn she said I was wondering if you did transition year when you were in secondary school and if you did did you enjoy it yes I loved transition year I would recommend anybody to do it um, it's definitely one of those times where you just need to kind of take the time to figure out what you want to do in life you want to try new things and I'm a huge believer in like gap years transition years um, I don't think they're a waste of time at all I think they if they're used properly you can find out a lot about yourselves question number seven comes from the glitter girl and she said I didn't really understand this question because it was written really funny do you regret crazy things you didn't do or in another way do you believe you will regret the crazy things that you didn't do as a teenager but when you're older I'm 15 and not a nerd or a geek but there are so many things I think are not right or crazy that I don't do so I, I guess what you're saying is do I regret not doing more crazy things when I was a teenager or something like that I think I had a good balance like I never did drugs I never drank excessively like I did you know get drunk a couple of times obviously when I was a teenager everybody does I think um, I'm not condoning that or anything but I'm just saying that you know <laughs> a lot of people do it I think it's important to do these things in moderation um, but like I said I never did drugs I never I didn't like sleep around or anything <laughs> like I didn't do anything like too crazy uh, it depends what you what you mean by crazy because a lot of people have different opinions so I don't know but I didn't do a lot of crazy stuff, um, but at the same time I don't feel like I was restricted really in any way. Like I feel like, I still feel like I had a very fulfilling teenage hood, <laughs> adolescence. So um, no, I don't regret anything really. Um, I don't like sit here now when I'm married in my rocking chair and I'm like, I wish I had done more as a teenager. No, I don't do that. I feel like I've really just expressed everything I wanted to express, do everything I wanted to do. Um, I don't feel like life is over for me, so yeah, no, I don't. Question number eight comes from Tilly Hall, and she said, what's your P.O. Box address? My P.O. Box address is, um, written on my channel page, and I think on, um, our daily vlog channel page. Question number nine comes from Ashley83x. Are you so happy to be having a girl? Does it feel different now that you know? Can you explain the feeling? Um, I am ecstatic to be having a girl and so is my husband, like we're over the moon. Um, do I think it feels different? Not really. It doesn't feel different physically. Um, I guess like mentally, I now that I know I'm having a girl, it's like I can kind of prepare for that. Um, and I'm, I'm really excited for that. So yeah, mentally it's, it's different obviously because you know, you start thinking about all the girl things and like what it's going to be like and what she's going to be like. But physically I don't feel different at all. Question number 10 from Beauty Obsessed. Could you give me suggestions on how to keep my hair straight? I have naturally straight hair, except that I got layers put in a few years ago. So my hair is flicky, which is why I straighten it. I use GHG, but within an hour it's flicky again. I have a video on how I do my straight hair routine, watch that, because um, that gives all tips and tricks and all the different products that I use. Um, my number one tip though would be to use the straightener properly. Like I used straightener the wrong way for years and years and years and now that I know what I was doing wrong, I'm like kicking myself, you know? Um, but basically you need to make sure that the straightener, you need to do pieces individually. You can't just kind of go at your hair like 
like this um, and just kind of randomly or at least I can't because I have thick hair I don't know what your hair type is but you said it's naturally straight so this should be you should be able to do this but um, basically you just take it in sections go through it slowly not like so slow that you're singeing your hair but you can kind of gauge and you can watch my video to see what I exactly how I did it um, and that way you should not have any problems after so those are the 10 questions I just did 10 because otherwise I would have been here all day and I did answer all the other ones that I could answer on my form spring um typey typey like written but please don't think that I'm ever ignoring you or anything like that it's just hard for me because I get so many messages every single day but I do care about you guys I love you guys I really appreciate your comments your messages everything so I do try really hard on my form spring um, go there ask me questions for next week if you want to I hope you guys have an amazing weekend we are going out for dinner tonight to celebrate finding out the gender and everything um, I'm so looking forward to it. So um, I hope you have an amazing weekend and an amazing Friday night if you're doing anything. And I will talk to you in my next video. Bye.